Put hey guys, up. thank you so much for joining us again for a third mini series uh, to close this week. And then tomorrow we have our live masterclass, five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So don't forget to join. We have Tanya. She's a coach in our community. She does self care for entrepreneurs. Tanya, go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit for everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me on. And hello, everybody who's joining us live today or watching the replay. My name is Tanya Silva, and I am the self care coach of the 90X group. Um, what I do in a nutshell is I teach people, entrepreneurs especially, how to really um, become mentally, physically, and nutritionally healthy and strong so that they can look, feel, and show up for their business and their life as their best self. Love that. Love that. And we have some people joining, guys. So definitely, if you have questions, make sure you guys ask us, and we'll try to help, and I'll try to read in through the comments. I know, Tanya, you can't see, but somebody said hello, so we said hello back. Oh, hello. Bree is over here from our membership. She's been through all the series, so she's really, and you know her. She's been in all of our calls. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you know, I wanted to touch about something because a lot of people say self-care. I mean, what you guys talking about, we're trying to build a business over here. Mm -hmm. What does that got to do with business? Yeah. Well, that's what I thought because that's <laughs> what I did. I just worked hard, hard, hard yeah. all day long, all day long. And I didn't understand why I was getting burnt, why I was getting tired, getting frustrated. Yeah. It's not working. Sick. Sick all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I was just running until it's like never changed the oil. Basically, that's what I did for, I don't know, 40 years. Yeah. So I don't think that's good for engines. But yeah. so obviously we connected about a couple of, well, more than a couple of, almost, I don't know, seven months, Thank eight months ago. Yeah. Yeah. So Monica's your high, Brie. So I wanted to kind of bring you in because I think that you are the person or you are, self-care is the first thing we should do every day before we get going, before we get thinking, we go over here to work. Mm. I don't know. What, what do you think? Yeah. So I, I like to first emphasize that, um, today and age, if you look at some of the most successful entrepreneurs, I'm talking about million billionaires, like multi, like over a hundred million dollars plus something that a lot of them are starting to speak up about is they exercise, they take care of themselves. They have a morning routine. Yes. They have an evening routine. They meditate. They really, um, take, they really respect their sleep. They exercise in the morning they clean up their food. A lot of them have trainers that that travel with them. I mean, if you look up top comedians, top like the the best of the best. Right. Um, maybe they didn't start like that. Most of them didn't for whatever reason, maybe funding or they just didn't in their mind prioritize it. But then something snapped. And then if you look at it, the pattern, right, everything that you really emphasize in this group is like there's always a pattern. There's always you know, like a blueprint to success. And then what we place in there is really our decision. So I like to first emphasize that, you know, if you look at those top people and some of the common success threads that they emphasize is they really do prioritize their self-care because it's like pulling back to scale forward. And a second I thing I want to emphasize is that, you know, there is no business without you. Your business is is um, a reflection and an extension of who you are. And if you don't know who you are, if you're not taking care of yourself, you're creating a disconnection and a lot of people feel lost of who am I? How did I get here? And you build this company that you're miserable because you've sacrificed everything, including yourself. And then you're like, what do I have? I have something I don't even like because I'm in this space. And, you know, so we can't we have to remember that our business is a reflection of us. 100 percent. And, and, and I love yeah. that. I mean, I love that you, you say that a breeze out of your she agrees with us. I mean, agrees with you. Wealth is nothing if you don't have your health. And it's 100%. Because if you're not healthy, yeah. it doesn't matter how successful you are in your business. You, you can't keep going. And, you know, I, yeah. I, I want to touch on more things. And then you can take it wherever you want to take it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, one of the biggest things that I've never done for years is I've always got up and went to work right away. I never stopped. I just got going. But I saw the change, the peak, right, the trend that you're talking about. I saw that when I really stopped. When I got mm -hmm. to the office and started meditating mm -hmm. for at least... 10 minutes. It started from 10. Now I go up to about an hour, an hour and a half wow. every day at night and in the morning. For me, mm -hmm. it's not like without that, I feel and I've noticed that if I stop doing that for a period of time, <clears throat> things are really going to go bad. But when mm -hmm. I go back, I mean, A, it gets me focused. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you can explain a little bit about my, maybe it gets me focused. Mm -hmm. uh, I can stop thinking. I can focus on the right thing and then also control my thoughts a lot better. Mm -hmm. When I do that every day, what are your yeah. thoughts about that? 
Yeah. Well, I think that and that's a great um, awareness. And we are in our power and in control of our life and our thoughts when we are, you know, in control of our emotional state. And, and like I said, it's about pulling back to scale forward. And when, um, you know, we've when you're not take when you learn to truly take care of yourself, meditation is really uh, an exercise. It's a discipline, and we have to remember discipline equals freedom. We don't get to where we want to be when we just kind of go with the flow. It doesn't happen that way. I mean, we can surrender control. So, um, as far as the meditation, I'm a huge um, into meditation. I wasn't always just because I didn't know how to do it. It's right. like anything, like when you're building a business, if you have no structure, no guidance, no mentor, and you're just trying to kind of go as you go, I mean, maybe 1% of people can actually do it because those are like the unicorns of mm -hmm. the entrepreneurial industry. But for most of us need structure, mentoring, guidance, coaching programs, some form of a blueprint. And that's what that does. It really just helps you get clear and kind of pull back like, our emotions are not reliable and neither is motivation. We don't realize that nor is that emphasized. And so what do we have? We have to, it's like, like wild horses and we need to pull back the reins and to reclaim control over that. Oh, and that's so. what meditation does. And it's, it's hard and it's frustrating, but once you learn how to do it and that's why exercise and eating right and, and um, respecting your sleep, is really important because it helps you number one quiet the chatter of the mind and open up the hips and get the body healthy so that you're capable of maybe even getting into a space of meditation maybe I love if that. You're, yeah so uh, and i love that i mean you just said something over here and it's quiet the mind right i mean it's like mm -hmm. it's all those thoughts coming in coming in coming in and you're like whoa i gotta gotta stop how do i stop that yeah. and i love that you said that through meditation we just stop thinking that's what we focus. I love Esther Higgs. I think I know you love her as well. You listen yeah. to her as well. We just spoke about it before the thing and, mm -hmm. and before they started the live. And that's one more thing is like, how can I stop thinking and then control what I want to think about, which mm -hmm. is like adding another element to it. It's like, this is not working. I want to stop that. And then through meditation, now I can control what I want to bring into my world what it is that I want to think it could, you can choose. It could be positive or negative. And today I was yeah. learning about her 17 seconds, you know, formula. Oh, I don't yeah. Know if you yeah. And, and, and it works. And I've tried it. I literally walked around today for, for like a minute end up being a lot more. And I said, I'm going to try that. I'm just going to try that. And it's something more and more and more and more came Tell in. Tell them what the 17 seconds is. Cause I know what you're talking about, but they might. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't want to spoil it <laughs> because I want to do a whole talk about it okay, in the so community as well. Google it. All right, yeah. So, so you can go stay Google tuned everybody. <laughs> exactly. Now, so, uh, the, a lot of people said over here, well, Brandy, she's not in that community, but I see Monica, she's in our community and Bree's a community as well. She loves Esther Hicks, but I loved, uh, everybody loved your, your pull back to spring forward. Monica loved it. And I think it's great. Yeah. Right? It's a great analogy. It's uh, important. Yeah. And I think so. And then uh, I think her name is Brandy. She's not in our member. And she said something that everybody loved as well. I want to see the comment because it keeps the tread is long. Yeah. Uh, and I love that. But she said like, you can't, you can pour from an empty cup. You know, you just yeah, can't. Yeah. And even on the, come. on the airplanes, they say, you know, and I, I know it's so overused, but it's, it's understood by so many people is when the, um, stewardess come, they say, you have to place your oxygen mask on first. You need to be able to breathe in order to serve other people. You need to fill your cup up. Like she was saying, you need to be able to breathe air. If you're suffocating, you're going to be run or you're running on low. Think about it. You're going to be, how are you going to help your, your, how are you going to help? How are you going to be of service? People pick up energy. People work with me because they connect to my energy. Love it. Yeah. People no, work with you because they can feel your passion. That's one of the, one of the main reasons I was like, I want to be a part of this community, you know, Alon, because I know this is going to, you're not just creating a, you know, this program or these, you know, um, these planners you're providing a movement and i want to be a you. part of it because it's an emotion energy and motion if you don't have energy how are you going to move anything exactly 100 and thank you for saying i'm actually getting the chills i mean it's hard to show but yeah well, i'm hairy so you can see it but uh <laughs> you can get the chills and everything but 
Look, I, I love that. And, and I completely agree with you. And uh, Brandy over here said it as well. Put your oxygen first, right? I mean, like you you, you give mm -hmm. the metaphor of the plane and that's exactly it. It's like that energy that we need to get going. And the better it is, the cleaner it is, the more we can get forward. And, you know, yeah. I just I just love everything about self-care. And the new launch planner that we're launching, which is something that we didn't have in the action planner. We added the water mm -hmm. tracker, which is pretty nice just to encourage people to drink more water. Mm -hmm. But in the launch planner that we're creating, we really emphasize self-care. Like literally so every happy. day, work out, meditate, yeah. eat something um, healthy, take a break 10 minutes, go for a walk, you know, uh, sleep. Yeah. And I think we have something else over there, like eight items. Yeah. And it's literally just for self-care. Now, most people say, hey, dude, I'm running a business. What the heck are you talking about? Yeah. Well, that's the problem. Are you running a business? Or are you creating something bigger? And yeah. if you're just running a business, that's all you're doing. So obviously, you're a nine to five employee. You just didn't know that yet. But when you are mm -hmm. a business, you want to take care of those things. And the more I take care of it, I mean, I have a little bit more different than self-care as far as like, for me, it's important to spend time with my family. So I don't care. I care about my business, obviously, mm -hmm. but it comes after my family. So I want to spend more time. That's my self-care. That's the time that I want to spend for myself yeah. that fills me up. Fills so your I'm soul. Exactly. So even that, don't discount it, guys, as well. So just make sure. Yeah. Uh, you take but that's a great that. example too. So, um, so as you're saying a lot about taking care of your family, if you're running on empty, if you're suffocating and you can't breathe because you're not getting sleep, you're not meditating, you, you, what the time that you would spend with your family, and this is getting into quality versus quantity. 100%. So the time that you're spending with your family, are you fully showing up? Are you fully in the present moment? Are you in the zone or are you there agitated? Are you somewhere else? Are you, a zombie you know because, so i used to be that guy yeah i used to be that guy that kind of is there for my family but i'm not really because a phone comes in and that's more important or i'm thinking about a client or i'm thinking about something else and that's one of the reasons i actually went into this business that i can control what it is that i want to do so i am present mm -hmm. with my family now when i'm there I don't even answer my phone. I don't even have my phone on because I could care less if somebody calls or not Yeah, because yeah. I'm there for them. And that's my quality time. Mm -hmm. No. And I was just saying in general, like as, yeah. as humans, like when you're with somebody, yeah. are you truly with them? And if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not capable. You're not capable as much as you want to be, to be there when you're sitting down and you have to write out an email campaign or you have to sit down and you have to take a coaching call. It's the same concept. It's all about, fully being in the present moment because when you're in that space you're in your power and and one thing that i get a lot working with entrepreneurs i'm talking about millionaires billionaires pro professional athletes or even a nine to five you know somebody in nine to five who's just barely making minimum like it, it it's the same thing the guilt the shame and the judgment come into and to factor with like i shouldn't be taking care of myself there's other things more important than me but that's just something that takes practice with reprogramming your subconscious belief system because <laughs> you know that's getting into the subconscious because that was learned exactly. at a very young age somewhere else and you know the only way to prove yourself wrong is by actually doing it because those creative blocks like when i'm blocked i go out and i go rollerblading and i have i've built out so many courses because of the idea that i had when i was exercising or meditating or taking that break that that pulling back so that then these courses were birthed and scaled and you know amazing things happen during those times i mean i everything you're saying i mean it's, it's creating so many thoughts and ideas because it happens for me and i know it happens to our audience and let me know guys i mean do you get more of your ideas when you take a shower or when you're running on a treadmill or when you're surfing or whatever it is that you're doing i know my ideas come two places when i and in the shower. So I'm literally thinking about purchasing or creating something that mm -hmm. I can write in the shower. Uh, and then number two is when I jog on the treadmill, but not walk when I sprint at my highest capacity. Mm -hmm. When I just started, when I run as fast as I can, that's when uh, with like really pumped up music, that's where my ideas come in, where I really want to stop. And I talk to my phone, get the ideas out there and keep going. Like that's where my ideas come yeah, up. Because guess, you're you're I breathing in emptying. oxygen. Exactly. Yeah, you're quieting the chatter of the mind. You're getting completely in the present moment. Your power is in your present moment. And, um, you know, you're getting out of your head and connected to your soul, to your body. 
So that's why, you know, and everybody knows everybody has different movement patterns. You'll never catch me running unless I'm running late, like ever. <laughs> All right. So like everybody has different movement patterns and you just have to find the ones that resonate with your body and start with where you're at. And I think that's important too, because people think they have to sprint or they have to do this, they have to do that or power lift. And it's, it's, you know, it's different. It's different for everybody. Different I mean, uh, Brandy O'Hear said it comes to her when she's driving. And she uh, say my creativity comes most when I'm deep compressed mm -hmm. and I'm alone with Love myself. Uh, yeah. Bree, she's a member in our community, uh, and she said on my way to to sleep and in the bathtub, and she's laughing. So <laughs> that's what works. Mm. And look, if that's what works, I for love that. Yeah. Well, I don't. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. I'll do do the other things. The I really get salt baths. Yeah. No. So I mean, I just I just love that uh that it comes you know when we do that and so many ideas come from that that's why for me self-care is so up and high now self-care yeah that's so, yeah. and it's and self-care could be literally i've had i i've assigned clients like because they had like i had this one client she had five kids she worked full-time um and you know her husband worked full time so as soon as she got home it was like then she had to go make dinner and she's like i don't know when i can even take care of myself i'm like okay you can go to the bathroom. So it was like, when you go to the bathroom and then I showed her some breath work and that made such a huge shift because it gave her a moment to collect her herself. So she didn't lose her shiznit when mm -hmm. she got home because it's like, you know, you have to, you know, like you were talking about when I, I work, then I shut off and then I'm with my family. I'm with my family. A lot of people don't know how to, and Abraham Hicks teaches this, um, is segment intending not taking the the energy from work into the home and not taking the home energy into the work 100 percent. and and i remember that even when i uh used to do other things like sometimes if i feel like i'm still going when i'm driving home the thing is for my studio to my house it's literally less than a mile drive mm -hmm. literally that's awesome so sometimes yeah but sometimes i'm still in the moment of my job so i'll mm -hmm. drive around a little bit more yeah. around the neighborhood do another 10 minute drive just to decompress just to release everything yeah. that when i come home i try to be really present at my home with my kids my wife you know my family because you know yeah. that's important to me uh so definitely that's something that we do and something that i love doing and before i just didn't know that stuff you know i was just yeah. running on empty so definitely that does work i wanted to see there's a lot of stuff coming in over here and a lot of people Yay. are resonating with your saying so rosalyn i think she's a member uh but I wanted if to you're ask not, you. Be. <laughs> yeah, if you're not a member, then tomorrow we have the masterclass. And I mean, look, you guys are getting a taste of everything that we do yeah, inside our week. community. Every week we have this more and more, and we're building more and more, and and we're trying to bring more mm. stuff and more content. And it's not about look just the goal setting because that's just one part of it. I mean, this literally just one part. We have so much. Before the call, I told you, like, I mean, to have a successful business, you have to have a message. You need to get your message yeah. done. You need to get your offer done. You need and to clear get your on it. Yeah, 100% clear. Messaging is everything. And then actually, you need to understand your numbers. If you can't understand your numbers, you can't grow. If you don't know your numbers, you cannot grow a business. And then the third thing that we talk about is team. If you don't have your team, then mm -hmm. you will not grow your business. You will do it. You will do it on your own. But if you don't have those elements, and there's a lot more core values. And of course, it starts with the goals and the vision. Oh, yeah. Support, but that's accountability. Yeah. I mean, the biggest important things I think that have even gotten me to the space that I'm in is support, accountability. Um, uh, what is it? I mean, I mean, I think those are the two major things is just being support, like feeling supported, whether it being like just going through dialogue and, you know, supporting what? each other and then being held accountable. You know, yeah, this no, is what I want. Are, am I showing up? I could let myself slide. But then Alon's like, hey, I'm like, oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to make it better. 2020 is going to be way better because we have a better, we have, obviously we have a ton of coaches mm -hmm. and we're not here to promote the membership, but I mean, Brie over here said so much value. Brandy, I don't know if you're a member. I don't think you're a member, uh, but yes, there's a ton of value for a little price because it's a great, great community, great coaches, oh God, yeah. but it's not just about that. We're adding more coaches. We're adding more clarity. But for me, the reason I started the community is because I didn't have something you spoke about. I didn't have the support, guidance, and help. I did it all by myself, guys. I did it mm -hmm. literally all by myself, and that's why I got to the point that I got burned out. I'm 43 it's years hard. old, and I kind of got – Exactly. And when I added those elements, I was like, you know, how many people like me are doing it all on their own, trying to figure out everything? Wow. And part of your self-care, part of that self-care is also, like, investing in yourself. 
whether I just joined a gym. I told you that a couple of months ago because that was my mm -hmm. commitment. And I try to go every day. I can't. So I go about three times a week to the gym. But I, I picked Equinox, which Equinox, I think that's what it's called. It's like a hundred and eighty. Yeah. yeah, Equinox. It's like $180 a month. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. You can go to 24-hour yeah. fitness or whatever, LA Fitness, for like 20 bucks a month. But I really wanted something that when I walk in gives me that excitement, gives me that yeah. joy to come there. A, I'm also putting my money. So I was like, I better use that because I'm investing mm -hmm. so much money because I'm investing in myself, but they have yeah. everything. So for me, it was important to build a community that has everything for our members, but also mm -hmm. for each other. And not, it's not always about the money. It's not that. It's like you said, a movement. It's to yeah. create something bigger. That's why I'm bringing, we're attracting great people. And yeah. that's what I love is our members are amazing. And that's what I love is not just that. It's just attracting Beautiful what you members. said, uh, which is so important, and I don't know if you've done a live on this, but it needs to be done. I'm pretty sure you did the difference between an expense and an investment. Yes. I, no, I think we spoke about it. Me and you spoke yeah. about it, oh, but I haven't you, done one. Oh, I definitely do one. one. Oh, my God. That's so powerful because once I understood that because I've had so many like business invest, I've invested so much, but I don't regret any investment, even if it was an investment. I was like, ah, eh, because it was an investment in myself yeah, and so. your business is your, like we talked about a segment of yourself, you taking care of yourself through the gym is, is a, you know, pushing you forward so that you can show up for us, for the group, exactly. for, you know, everything that you're doing. So this is no. an investment, you guys. No, 100%. And, and I, like I said, look, I mean, I invested in myself and I understand yeah. I invest over $50,000 a year in myself. Mm -hmm. literally 15k every year and i, I sign up to, to invest in myself because i want to be with the best people i can in my level or higher than me so mm -hmm. i can then be better and in, in return attract better people i mean that's just the yeah. way it is Support, and for me with, accountability yeah i wouldn't do something that i'm not part of and that's why i'm saying even the self-care like yeah hell yeah i went to do uh reiki i even we spoke about that even remember yeah, we had a call yeah How'd like, that hey, that's 200 bucks. It was great. It cleaned me up. Obviously, I'm blocked, but there's a lot more. And I've enjoyed it, but I'm okay investing in myself. Look, to be honest, I have a coach and I even have a therapist because I want all the stuff that I can get for myself because I see the value. I literally see the yeah. value because if I can clear my mind and then come back and show up for my community, for my kids, for my family, for the people that I work with and give them more, for me, that's important. So it's not just always about the money. Think about your business. Think about yourself. That's the investment. That's something that's going to stay with you and something that, like we said, investment rather than expense, you know, an yeah, expense. Self-care so. is mental health, you guys. It's not just, the, it's not about the body. The body is the symptom, not the cause, but this is about your mental and emotional health. And yeah. um, this is the new diagnosis. No, you know, 100%. Mm -hmm. I wanted to give something uh, to, to the people that are listening over here that, maybe have not done self-care. Maybe they're like, their thing is I get up to work, I have a nine to five job, or maybe I want to have a side hustle. Like I don't know exactly what everybody's doing uh, in the community, but a lot of people are going to watch the replay and stuff like that. Yeah. What is something you can give them like, okay, at least do one, two, three, like creating, starting to form. Cause you know, I'm big about forming your strategy. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. anything that you can, you can share with them that can take value from you. I know they got a ton of value already, but yeah. I'm mean, just, yeah. No, I think steps are very important. I'm very big into like where to start. And I'm very, uh, one of my strengths is getting people going like startups. Um, hence, that's what I do is with um, anyway. But I would say for habits, uh, habit reframing is to get on a sleep schedule because sleep is the, the first step that I always emphasize with people because you're not going to have the energy um, to work out if you're not getting quality uninterrupted sleep and then second okay so we'll start with sleep so the first thing is you have to identify how many hours of quality uninterrupted you sleep in order to operate at your best self for me it's eight hours i've played wow. around with six I, no i i know i need a lot i wish i have eight <laughs> I, I i get three i don't have kids you guys i know like, that's what i'm saying i, I was like i don't yeah, know what you're talking I'm being about so selfish right now but it's like i get three maybe uninterrupted yeah and you have to remember too when you're not sleeping you're more prone to getting sick and when you're sick you're out what a week two weeks so it's like it's okay. not an option 
Tanya. It's really, like, it's I have four kids. Yeah, I know. Not an option. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm, you asked for steps. I'm giving steps. So I yeah, would no, say no. start with, so I'm saying for me, you play around with it. Now, if you're somebody like yourself, I think it's a great example. Say you get an hour of what you say, four hours of sleep of Three uninterrupted of quality oh. sleep. I okay. Quality, I would cool. aim. So I would aim then for quality four hours. Make it realistic. So if you're somebody who does like Alon, who gets, you know, has been operating on three, four hours, try to get that solid four hours. Then from there, aim to expand to four and a half hours. You know, and the biggest thing that I would say in order to do that, most people focus on morning routines, but I have my students focus on the night. One hour before tired sleep, turn off the electronics. Unless, like for me, I like to listen to an app called Liquid Mind with mm. no commercials. And it gets into the different uh, brain waves and it helps you get into the deep uh, level five REM sleep. So there's different REMs and levels of quality sleep. So an hour before desired sleep, um, turn off electronics because it stimulates you and it affects your REM sleep. And there's other little gadgets and stuff you can get, like having like, and also natural things like having certain plants in the house, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, Sean Stevenson wrote a book on sleep matters, and he talks about how he reversed degenerative bone disease and all these amazing things about the quality of sleep. So he has, he's, I, I always refer out to like read his book, listen to his audio. Um, he has a thing called Model Health Show. I'm not affiliated with him by all means, but I do feel mm. he's like the hey, expert we all of sleep. Know people we love. I mean, this yeah, is great. I so, read information. Yeah. yeah. So have and then develop a self care. I call it a self care hour. That hour of doing your meditation, um, maybe taking your bath, and like everything needs a home. Everything needs a placement. So mm -hmm. categorize in there what is you know maybe cleaning up your environment to so when you wake up in the morning, your peace of mind versus like chaotic because your external environment is a reflection of your internal environment. So you can plug in those things. And I actually did a live call for those of you that are members and those of you that are not, you need to join because I did a live coaching call. I think it was the first one on getting like what that consists of. So go back and you can watch it and I have more yeah, time. Yeah, we have the there. replays, of course. You know, yeah, you have a live replays. Yeah. yeah. So you guys can have access to that. So that would be step one. Step two is once you handle that down, make also give yourself an appointment for your workout. It can be 10 minutes. Put it first thing in the morning to help get you going. And um, because that's when you know that like if you plan it at night or in midday for entrepreneurs, it never is long term. So you have to also give it a home. And I find the best home to give it is first thing in the morning. Um, or And I think it, I agree with you on that. I want to yeah. stop you for a second because I've tried and I think I'm going to go in 2020. I'm going to change the routine. and I'm going to try to do it in the morning. So instead of coming mm -hmm. to work, I'll go to the gym. Uh, they have showers. They have everything over there. Everything so that's, at that's, Equinox. That place yeah, is I mean nice. it's amazing. Yeah. It's like you can live there almost. Like, I know. I, mean, I was at one time, so that so, was there. Yeah. So definitely, definitely I think I want to change that, and I think because I've been like, yeah, like you were saying, like try to do it in the evening. I'm already burned out. I'm already dead. In the weekends, yeah. I go in the morning and I'm energized. But I mean, I want to try to at least do it twice a week. Yeah. So I definitely agree on and that. And especially when you have when you're an entrepreneur and you have a family, there's always something you want to get home to your children. You you know you want to do this and that. But if you get up first thing in the morning before everybody else, that's why you start with the night routine in order to have a more successful morning routine. And part of your morning routine. So once you get a solid night routine, you're capable of having a solid morning routine versus just waking up and then waking up anxious because you're late for everything and your whole day starts off late with chaotic energy. 100%. So everything starts from, you know, the bottom up and a lot of coaches teach the opposite, but it's not, this is the most successful. So then put your morning, morning exercise, uh, get your exercise because the exercise is placement is to quiet the chaos of the mind. That's the main point of exercise, talking about mental health and thriving, right? And then the third is getting on a on a food schedule. If you wait too long to eat, your insulin levels start dropping and that affects your energy, it affects your mental clarity, it affects your focus. So I would just say like three hours after waking, just get on a, every three hours eat because that fuels your energy. It's how we function. So I would just say getting on a schedule um, and then discontinue eating three hours before bed for a uh, really healthy gut function. And um, you wake up early, you have great digestion. All, how you feel in your body is really how you feel in your emotional state. So I would start with those three things.
No, and I love and a lot. We got a lot of great, great excellent motivation yeah. information. There's a lot of good stuff over here from the comments. So definitely, I mean, Tanya does a lot more than this. Every mm -hmm. Sunday, she has like her own segment where she jumps show. in. Yeah, she has her own TV show inside <laughs> our members, and she can yeah. come and talk about it. So definitely, it's something that's a plus. Plus, our live coaching call that you can mm -hmm. be a part of the conversation and and really ask questions. Because look, yeah. I just picked up from here a couple of things, and that's what I'm going to change. I'm going to have my staff come later, like start at ten. So I can mm. go to the gym earlier Perfect. and because I like to be here when they're in the morning to answer any questions and kind of mm -hmm. go from there. But that right there, I think, is golden. So definitely don't look at self-care as like I don't need it from a business. I think that's the first thing you need oh to my run gosh. a successful Look at business. all these successful business owners. They will tell you. And a lot of them are, you know, coming up with a lot of them have like one on one. That's why I'm actually. <laughs> and I, and I know. And I think yeah. what happens, Tanya, and this is this is this is what I think. Mm -hmm. And this is the way I used to think as well when I used to be a business owner and I didn't think ahead is most of us look at, at, at the successful entrepreneurs, the rich people, whatever, where they have a chef, they have a personal trainer, a meditation trainer, a coach, whatever. Most of us think we need to then we need to have a lot of money to be able to do all that. that. So yeah, we're going to work to create all that money so we have a successful budget so then we can afford those people to do that stuff for us where well, we're looking yeah. at it backwards we're actually not working from our vision we're working to the vision right that's something that i talk about a lot mm -hmm. but i think that's why i hired a coach i hired a therapist i have a community i just joined an expensive gym i have a trainer i mean i have everything i have right now i don't have a personal chef but my wife is a chef so she's <laughs> right there almost right with that she cooks amazingly you have the best so, chef in the house yeah yeah, but but I mean that's what most people look at is like, well, when I will have all that money, then I will get all that stuff. And then We're I'll take care of myself. Backwards. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what we help inside the community to help to re guess yeah. think differently. Mm -hmm. You cannot wait. It's like, okay, when I have enough money, then I will hire a coach that will show me how to make more money. No, yeah. you're thinking backwards. You're gonna go yeah. work 10 times harder where you have all the shortcuts. When I have enough money, I will then join this community or this mastermind or this whatever yeah. so I can then learn how to do it quicker. Yeah, and I think that's so great that you created this community because this is this community should be a lot. Num you, number one, everybody watching, you don't guys. Don't tell them the price because they don't know the price yet. No, 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 I'm not even saying the price. I'm well, you don't even know the price. You're yeah. Not, yeah, I don't even know the price. The, but the thing is, you're literally getting so much for such a little investment. And remember, they it's do. an investment, not an expense that like most people, I mean, gosh, like it's crazy what you're what you've done with this group. And I think I'm gr grateful to be a part of it. I'm grateful to be able to like support you guys getting started and going because I wish I would have had something like this. Like, you know, I, I, I completely agree because everybody I tell mm -hmm. them what we do and what we charge for it. They're like, yeah, you, you must be crazy. It must be wrong because honestly, it's not about the money. It's for me to really create. I'm looking at the Netflix Netflix and I really want to yeah. bring in more people. I don't want to charge hard premium. So, okay, I will just want this because I really want to help as many people as I mm -hmm. can before. I'm yeah. Gone. You know, and yeah. that's my thing is I really want to create this thing, this impact. That's what we give away free planners and we we do all those coaching calls because I really want everybody. Now, look, there's a ton of coaching. There's like seven coaching calls a month. Plus, there's a ton of light. That doesn't mean you need to attend all of those. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean you need to attend all. You got to attend what you want. Take what you want. If you could take one thing and apply it in, and apply it in your business. If you don't apply it, then it means nothing. Yeah. Just from this call, I applied that I'm going to start doing my morning gym instead of the evening so then i will be more energized and i used to do crossfit mm -hmm. for many many years and i used to go work out at 5 a.m and then work out again at 8 a.m and i'm not a, i'm not an athlete that's not my thing i was just but i had so much energy everybody's an going. athlete within well you, well you know what i mean that was not my yeah. thing but i mean literally that's what i do that's what i want to start doing again it's because i remember the days that i got the energy and yeah. i could like you said, I could work at peak performance. Yeah, and, and those are called want. intrinsic goals. So intrinsic goals are about doing things based on how you want to feel. And that's what it's about. Like taking care of yourself is so that you are capable of operating at your peak performance like professional athletes on a day-to-day -day basis. 100%. And that's the food so about. much matters. When I eat crap, I feel like crap. I just oh, know yeah. that. You're numbing I, yourself. I just You're feel it. <laughs> Yeah, so bad. yeah, forget the disease. It's just like, oh my God, I just put like, I got to stop. I can't do anything right now. I'm done. You know, yeah. like I got to yeah. clean the system. I mean, like the meaning this uneasiness, is, like not a yeah. disease, but like a dis-ease, like an uneasiness. Oh, got it, got it, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah.
And then Brandy, you numb your mind, you numb your body. Yeah. yeah. Brandy's agreed with us. I mean, there's so much great comments over here. I mean, look, I know the value now. I wish I knew it before, but hey, the best time to start is hey, always now. That's the way I, I, you know what I mean? But I mean, this mm -hmm. is something that I love and I'm so happy when, because I remember when you first reached out to me and this is, look, this I is- I did, I stalked Alon. I was like, Yeah, hey. well, well, it's not that. And this is something that I tell my members as well. And I tell, I want to tell you this guys yeah. too, because sometimes if you don't ask, you don't know. And most of us in business and a, a lot of people that I know, most of us don't ask. I mean, I know I do. I pitch people all the time and that's why I get to the top podcast. I was just on uh, Mommy Millionaire. I mean, she's eight figure coach and I was on yeah. the podcast. Awesome. And I try to get to the top ones is because I ask, I have no problem walking to somebody. And most people don't ask. They assume they're going to get the answer. No, or they're scared to get a no. And that's what mm -hmm. we cheat in other communities. Don't be scared of asking. And I love that you asked. And because you asked, I jumped on a call. It took you a couple of times to maybe to reach out. Maybe I missed the message. I don't know what it was, but you asked. And therefore yeah. I did. And that's why I teach people. It's like, you need to ask, you need to yeah. actually show up you need to don't be scared and don't be scared of a no actually look at it as a next opportunity you know don't yeah. be looking oh that's a no that's not going to work for me that really and that's sucks. what you've built with this group like we really do care about you guys we really do want to see you succeed because your success is our success like yeah. we really do mean that yeah no I, de definitely there's a lot of great comments i'm listening i'm reading the comments on the side as well but it, it just everything ties in together and that's why today i was sitting with zoe that's what we're adding a new coach i told you about a messaging mm -hmm. so we're really trying to give you guys give everybody the support and everybody can feed from each other and i think we can just all help other people help other people and then leave the play you know yeah the when you guys place. ask questions we all respond like you yeah. or if you tag us like or whatever like we love when you guys are active we you know when we do our lives we have you guys come on you know, like it's not just one of those things. Like we are all here, like love, to support yeah. you. I love Brandy's metaphor. She has so many metaphors. <laughs> She's just amazing, and I love those because we we use a lot of metaphors in our uh, messaging as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, Bree said, "I wish I knew the value a year ago. Been dealing with issues, yeah." And I know Brandy was in, and she was out, and then now she's fully in. And Br Bree, sorry, I said Brandy, Bree, and I I want to say that because I see you showing up, and I think you're showing mm -hmm. up so much more and i mean she shows up through all the calls all the lives yeah. and i mean now you can also see the difference and that's what i tell a lot of our members that we have a ton of members but a lot of them don't show up and that's the difference between playing on the field and on the sideline the people yeah. that pay on the field get the big but they get paid the most in mm -hmm. the nfl the other ones are just sitting on the side and they make a check maybe fifty thousand dollars a year and that's it and they're done they're yeah. part of the team but they're not making any impact and that's why I love when you start showing up, when you're getting that momentum, that's when you will see the magic happen. So absolutely. I love that. Tanya, thank you so much. But before thank we leave you. everybody, can you tell me you have to show up and go up? Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Another metaphor. So <laughs> tell me, where can everybody find you? I mean, I know they can find you in the membership that everybody yeah. knows that, but where can they can find you on social media? I know you said you want to start your youtube in the beginning we spoke about that yeah what, so i have a youtube right yeah i have a youtube channel uh i've got a couple platforms and when you can always email me tanya at tanya um but i have my instagram at diet junkie j-u-n-k-e my youtube is um tanya silva so t-a-n-y-a-s-i-l-v-a and then my website you can always send me a message there uh tanya silva.com Beautiful. Yeah. So definitely make sure you guys uh, follow Tanya, tag her, say hi. Afterwards, you can yeah. definitely go to the comments over here, Tanya, in this group and then reply to people. There's a lot of yeah, great do information. Yeah, I see any? You. I don't think I can you see it. You can't see it now. Tonight. You'll see it when you're in ah. the Facebook group because we're doing this Live. And okay. tomorrow, guys, don't forget 90xmasterclass.com. Go and mm -hmm. register. Show to the masterclass. Hey, worst case, worst case thing is you're gonna learn something new. That's the worst thing that can happen. Mm -hmm. You're gonna learn something new and, and take it from there. You can do it on your own. That's okay too. Or you can do it with the community. Definitely will help. Thank you so much, Brandy. Said a lot of value, so I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow, five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We have the community, and we'll go from there. And then hopefully we guys see you in the rest after this. Tanya, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking thank the time you. and doing this. I know it's like what. Almost seven o'clock where you're at. Oh yeah. It's not my bedtime's eight o'clock. So eight I still have another oh, hour. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, my, my, my seven o'clock is the giving the kids shower thing, but yeah. <laughs>
And I try to go early, go to bed early, but my 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 kids last night went to sleep at eleven. 11. Just focus on a solid yeah. four, and then from there, then then aim for four and a half. So I think those are very <laughs> tangible goals. They have to yeah. be like I can do this type of goals. One hundred percent. Beautiful, sweetie. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll see you inside the community. Thank you guys Thank for you. showing up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow on the masterclass. Bye. Bye.